In this video we're going to look at factorising harder quadratics, that is where the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. But before we go on to the uh, method, um, I'd like to look at uh, an actual example of multiplying brackets together because there are three particular properties which are worth noting. So we'll start with um, the example 2x 2x plus 3 multiplied by 5x plus 7. After expanding these brackets we find the answer 10x squared plus 29x plus 21. Now the first property, property A I'll call it, is the product sum sum product formula product sum, sum product. And what this states is that the, the product of the sum of the coefficients in the factors is equal to the sum of the coefficients in the product. So the, the product of the sum of the coefficient of the fact, these are the two factors, and the sum of the coefficients here is 2 plus 3 is 5, and 5 add 7 is 5 add 7 is, is 12. The product of these two is 60. So that's the product of the sum of the coefficients in the factors. And the sum of the coefficients in the product is 10 add 29 add 21 is also equal to 60. And that's property A, and it's worth remembering. And also can be used to check any product, uh, any algebraic product. Property B is to do with uh, splitting the the middle term. So if we take, it's a it's a ratio uh, or proportion. So if we take the middle coefficient 29, it can be split into two parts a 15 and a 14 in this case, so that the first coefficient, 10, is to this first part, 15, as 14 is to 21. And uh, that can be used to uh, help factorise some of these um, harder quadratics. The third property, property C, is that the, uh, worth mentioning here, is that the product of the first term and the last term, in this case 10 times 21, is 210, is equal to the product of the middle two terms, 15 times 14 is also 221. That in fact is true for any uh, ratio equation. So, for example, if we have 2 is to 3 as 4 is to 6, we can easily see that 3 times 4 is the same as 2 times 6. And again, this can also help in finding these two uh, missing numbers in the proportion. Now, moving on to the general case, if we take two binomial factors, say ax plus b, and multiplied by cx plus d, the result will be acx squared plus ad plus bc times x plus bd. So that's the general, the general form. And if we lay these uh, coefficients, these four coefficients, A, B, C, and D, out into a matrix, like so, it's just a matrix in, in shape, um, there are uh, various things to note about it. First of all, the, the vertical product of A and C 
is the coefficient of x squared. So that gives us ac x squared. Uh, secondly, that the product, the vertical product of these two numbers, b and d, gives the independent term bd. And thirdly, the sum of the cross product, ad plus bc, ad plus bc, gives the coefficient of x. And <clears throat> using these three things, we can uh, uh, get a, quite a simple way of uh, factorizing harder quadratics. <clears throat> so I'm going to show now six examples of where this matrix form, using the vertically and crosswise pattern, can be of great use. We'll start with 5x squared plus 36x plus 7. Now the key to this process is to look at the primality of the first and last coefficients. In this case, both are prime. So in our matrix, we must be dealing with a 5 and a 1, because 5 times 1 is 5. And the last two numbers here must be a 7 and a 1. Um, and we, then we consider the cross product. The only way we're going to get 36 is with a, a 7 here and a 1 here. So 5, 7 is 35, plus 1, 1 is 36. And from that, we can immediately write down the factored form as 5x add 1 times 1x plus 7. Example 2 is 8x squared plus 14x plus 3. Again, looking at the first and last coefficients, we can see that the last one is prime. And so in the matrix, we must have a 3 and a 1. Now we've got a choice in, uh, with, with 8 because it's got two pairs of factors, 1 and 8 and 2 and 4. And we have to consider which of those is going to lead us to a cross product which adds up to 14. Well, the only possible uh, numbers will be a 4 here and a 2 here because 3 4s are 12 and 2 1s are 2. And that immediately leads us to 2x plus 3 times 4x plus 1. Uh, example 3, 5x squared minus 17x plus 6. Here again we see that 5 is prime, so we'll start with a 5 and a 1. And 6 we have two pairs of factors, <coughs> 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. Note here that we've got a, a negative 17 here and a plus, plus 6. So both of these numbers are going to have to be negative. And <coughs> it won't take much to see that we'll need three fives and a two here. So we need a three and a two, and they're both negative. This gives minus 15, take away two, is the minus 17. And the result is 5x minus 2 times x minus 3. Example 4, we have... Uh, Two negatives in this one, 3x squared minus 11x, take away 4. And again we can start with the prime coefficient here, a 3 and a 1. And again we've got two choices of factors here. But because we've got, there's a negative sign here, one must be positive and one must be negative. So if we try 2 and a 2, this won't work at all because we're never going to reach minus 11. So it must be a 4 which will go here and a 1 here, and then we can start sorting out the signs. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12, plus 1, and the result is 3x plus 1 times x minus 4. The next example, example 5, slightly harder. 
is 6x squared plus 17x plus 12. Now this is harder because 6 has two pairs of factors and 12 has three. It's got 1 and 12, 2 and 6 and 3 and 4. And this is where the proportion method of splitting the middle terms of splitting the middle term comes into use. And we can write down the ratio equation 6 is to something as something is to 12. And the two somethings have got to add up to 17. Well, after a, a little thought about this, it should be easy to see that we can have a 9 here and an 8 here. These two numbers can be placed around the other way as well. And the process then is to reduce either of these ratios to lowest terms. So that's 2 is to 3. And that gives the uh, first row of the matrix 2, 3. And from that we can easily see that 2 times 3 will give the 6. And 3 times 4 will give the 12. And we have three. Uh, 2x plus 3 times 3x plus 4. Example, that's 6. 9x squared minus 3x minus 20. So this is getting a little bit harder. And this time we need to split the middle term. It's only minus 3 here, but it's 9 is to something as something is to minus 20. And we need to find that these two somethings add up to minus 3. So one is going to be positive and one negative. And we can make use of um, the property earlier uh, mentioned earlier, which is that the two missing numbers here have a product of 9 times minus 20. And that's uh, minus 180. So we need to find two numbers that not only add up to minus 3, but which multiply to make minus 180. And the answer is 12 and negative 15. So we'll put a 12 here and a negative 15 here. Reduce either of these fractions to lowest terms. 3 to 4. And that gives the first row of the matrix. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times minus 5 is the minus 20. And so the factorised form is 3x add 4 times 3x take away 5. Well, I quite like this matrix method. The cross product is fairly easy to find. Not only that, we can use the matrix to uh, solve quadratic equations. So, for example, in example 5, if we had 6x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0, once we've got the matrix, all we need to do to find the two values of x which satisfy this equation are to take these two numbers, um, one over the other, and change the sign, giving it minus 3 over 2. And for the other answer, it would be x is equal to minus 4 over 3. And in this uh, last example here, if we have this is equal to 0, then from the matrix we can arrive at the two answers x is minus 4 over 3, or x is 5 over 3. We change, put one number over the other and change the sign. And that's it. Well, I hope you find that matrix method is, is nice and easy and will help you to factorise and solve these harder quadratic equations.